introduce our next speaker, Mohamed Alhamdadi, mm -hmm. and Knot Groups, Orientability, and etc. Please stop. Okay, first I would like to thank the organizers for the invitation, and I thank you all for attending my talk. Uh, I will be basically talking about orderability and circular orderability of quandals. And uh, as an application, we'll have some uh, results about knot groups, uh, partially trying to answer the question of uh, Adam Clay and I. Okay, I review a little bit uh, orderability on groups. Uh, I'm sure previous talks uh, spoke about this. The left ordering on group is just uh, strict total ordering that is uh, invariant from the left. Whenever you have left ordering, you can create what's called the positive cone, just a set of elements that are bigger than the identity element. It is a, a semi-group, and uh, you can uh, uh, write the group as disjoint union of P, P inverse, where P inverse stands for the X inverse where X belongs to P, and the identity element. In fact, it's uh, if and only if. Uh, conversely, if you have a group G such that it has subset satisfying this condition, then you can define an ordering on it by the condition or the definition that X is less than Y if and only if X inverse Y is in P. It is well known that uh, for groups, left ordering is the same as right ordering, meaning if you have a left ordering, you can get a right ordering and vice versa. And uh, uh, here I give the, the passage from left ordering to right ordering. We will see that this is not true for quandals, unfortunately. Uh, we say a group is bi-orderable if the ordering is both left invariant and right invariant. In other words, it's equivalent to saying that the positive cone is invariant under conjugation. Uh, group G is called indicable if it, it's, uh, it has a, the group of integers as quotient. And the group is called locally indicable if every non-trivial finitely generated subgroup is indicable. And uh, orderability has this, this property that by orderability implies local indicability, implies left orderability. The other direction are, are not true. Here are some uh, elementary e examples. Uh, the real line with the addition is right orderable. Uh, the non-zero real numbers with multiplication cannot be uh, right orderable. Uh, more generally, an abelian group is bi-orderable if and only if it's torsion free. These are all well-known results. And the braid group BN is, not, is left orderable, but not bi-orderable. This is the, the Hornoy ordering on, on uh, braid groups uh, with other uh, uh, authors also. The pure braid group is bi-orderable. Now, orderability of groups uh, has to deal with the uh, homeoplasts of the real line, order-preserving homeomorphism of the real line. And in fact, for countable groups, uh, a countable group is left orderable if and only if it embeds into uh, order preserving homeomorphism of the real line. Uh, we will see later that for circular orderability of groups, uh, a group will be a countable group will be uh, left circular orderable if and only if the group embeds into homeoplus plus of the circle S1, the quotient of R by Z. Uh, here is a, a, a small example. This is the fundamental group of the Klein battle. It can be given by generator and relations, uh, x, y such that x, y, x inverse equal uh, y inverse. I think if one just draws a, okay, x, x and y, uh, y inverse. Y, then one can get this relation. And uh, the fundamental group is right orderable, but not by orderable. And the reason for not by orderable, because uh, uh, 
if you conjugate y by x, it gives y inverse, and th this gives contradiction for biorderability. You just have to discuss if y is greater than one, then uh, by induction you get contradiction or the other way. Uh, back in 1999, uh, Tararin gave this nice uh, complete classification of all group with only finitely many left ordering. Then you are given a group and you ask how many possible left ordering uh, you can have on the group. And uh, the theorem, his theorem states the following. If you take the set of left ordering on group G, it will be finite if and only if the group G admits rational series like this, such that uh, when you take the quotient Ti by Ti plus one, whose action by conjugation on Ti plus one more Ti plus two is multiplication by non-negative rational number. Uh, here are a few uh, results. These are well known. Uh, the cardinality will be two if and only if the group G is torsion free abelian of rank one. Uh, if you have H, a free abelian normal subgroup of G, and if rank of H is greater or equal to two, assuming that the quotient G over H is the right orderable, then G has uncountably many different uh, ordering. Uh, now, Peter Linen uh, later used uh, the work of Tararin to prove the following theorem, that the space of ordering on the group cannot be infinitely countable. In other words, it's either finite or uncountable. Uh, uh, orderability of the not, the not group is, uh, is well known. This is theorem of uh, Howey, 1982. Not groups are locally indicable, thus they are left orderable. Uh, now, if we look at by orderability of, of not groups, here are uh, some results. The fundamental group of the trefoil is not by orderable. In fact, more generally, we'll see later that the fundamental group of torus knot are not by orderable. The fundamental group of the figure eight knot is by orderable. This comes out uh, as out uh, consequence of this uh, result. By orderability of, of knot groups is not fully understood. Uh, in some, uh, some families of knots, yes, it's, uh, it's fully understood. And there is this result, I think, by Rolfson and others, which says that if you have a fibered knot and if the Alexander uh, polynomial has a real roots positive, then it's by orderable. It's an if and only if. Okay, now let's talk about circular uh, circular orderability on groups. Then uh, a group G is called left circular uh, circular order, orderable. If you have a mapping from G3 to the plus one minus one zero with these three conditions, uh, C of X, Y, Z will be zero if and only if two, uh, two, two elements are equal. It is left uh, invariant. And it satisfies the last condition, which is uh, co-cycle condition. Now here, if you just take the, the quadruple G1, G2, G3, G4, and as we do in simplicial homology, you remove one each time and you alternate. Uh, for circular ordering, we can define an associated inhomogeneous co-cycle given by this formula. And it is called the Euler class of the circular ordering C. Uh, uh, an ordering gives a circular ordering, but not the other way. Then if you have an ordering on group, you can create circular ordering. Basically, you just put the elements on, on circle. Say X, Y, Z. And we'll make, uh, as long as you go in the same direction, it will be the same uh, result, C of X1, if x less than y less than z, uh, y less than z less than x. Basically, here is the formula for it. We define c of x1, x2, x3 by the signature of the permutation. We assume that permutation satisfies the condition that x sigma 1 is less than sig x sigma 2 less than sigma 3. And otherwise, we put 0. If, if two elements are equal, the, the, the c of x, y, z is 0. And uh, since this, this, this circular ordering comes from the, the ordering, they call it it's secretly left ordering. 
uh, tools to obstruct circular orderability are rare. There aren't that many. One basic uh, result is the following. A finite group is circular order, or, orderable if and only if it's the cyclic group. Uh, back in 2021, Ba and Clay, they proved the following result. Uh, if you take, if you consider the, the set of right circular or, order, orderings on group G, it is finite if and only if the group is either the cyclic group Zn or it's a semi-direct products of Tararin group by the cyclic group Zn. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, 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 circular orderability relates to a uh, uh, homeoplasm of the circle S1. And the result is, the well-known result is that a group G is uh, left circular uh, uh, orderable if and only if it embeds into homeoplasm of the circle. <laughs> this is quick review of orderability of groups and uh, circular orderability of groups. Now we want to apply this to quandals. Uh, a quick review of quandal is just the definition. Uh, I'm sure uh, people are already familiar with quandals, and it just says with the binary operation that satisfies these three axioms. If you remove the first one, I don't, uh, I don't put and see. You have what is called a rack. Basically, right multiplication has to be an automorphism. It's bijective and it's homomorphism, which is the third condition. When you have a quandal, you can create a, a group out of it. It's called the enveloping group of the quandal. You take the free group on the quandal and you move by, you force the condition that the star operation become conjugation. Uh, sometimes it's called the uh, uh, associated group of quandal. It's, sometimes it's also called the adjoint group of the quandal. I think these are the three terminologies used. Uh, if you have the envelope, envelope in quandal uh, of Q, you can take quotient of it. And the reason is uh, most of the time, uh, envelope in quandal is complicated to deal with. Then we take some quotient, and if it turns out to be finite, then we can, we can do some computation with it. Uh, orderability of quandal was introduced back in 2021 by Bardakov, Pasi, and Singh. And this is the definition. It's, it's natural. Then you have a quandal. You uh, take an order in it. If it's uh, invariant from the right, then it's called the right uh, orderable quandal. If it's uh, invariant from the left, it's called uh, uh, left orderable. If it is both left invariant and right invariant, we'll call it bi orderable quandal. Uh, among the results, the, the, they proved the following. That uh, conjugation on group is right uh, orderable uh, quandal, but not left orderable. Uh, they looked at the core quandal also. And uh, recently in 2021, Rondal Singh, uh, Mahendra Singh, and Manpreet Singh, they uh, wrote this paper called Orderability of Link Quandals. And they proved the following they have the following proposition. If Q embed into the envelope in a, a group of Q, if the map is injective, then if the envelope in a group is bi-orderable, it implies that the quandal is right orderable. Now, if the fundamental group of not K is bi-orderable, the not quandal will be right uh, orderable quandal. They proved also uh, in full details that the fundamental quandal of the torus knot TPQ is not right orderable. Uh, more precisely, one can check that the fundamental quandal of the, figure, the, the trefoil knot is neither right orderable nor left orderable. Uh, recently, with the BA, we defined the notion of right cir circular uh, or orderability of quandal in parallel to the uh, to, uh, the notion of uh, right circular orderability of groups. Then we have a quandal. We consider a map from Q3 to plus one, minus one, or zero. And we require that it's, uh, the, this uh, map C is right invariant. This will be right circular orderable. Uh, if it's left invariant, that it will be uh, left circular orderable. 
If it's both left invariant and right invariant, it will be bicircular orderable. Uh, uh, or, orderability of quanders gives circular orderability, as I mentioned earlier in the previous case. More explicitly, as I was mentioning, if I have a left ordering on the quandal Q, we define the map C coming from the order uh, on Q by the following formula. If you see here, this piece is exactly what uh, I was mentioning earlier. If you stick S1, S2, and S3, and you go uh, 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 clockwise, S1 less than S2 less than S3, uh, basically uh, S2 less than S3 less than S1. This is how you give the value one for C, negative one if you go the other direction. And if two in, any two of them are, are equal, it's zero. And one can quickly check that this is, it satisfies the property. Uh, if you have a, a group that is a cir circular orderable with this uh, circular order in C, such that it's both left and right invariant, this is uh, on the group, then the conjugation quandal is right circular orderable quand. And that's uh, straightforward because we require that C is both left invariant and right invariant. If it's just left invariant, or only uh, right invariant, it, it doesn't work. Uh, by circular, circular orderability of groups uh, was studied back in the 1950s by uh, Sverkovsky, and he proved the following result. He gave a complete classification of these groups. Uh, if a group G is by circularly orderable, meaning you have an order that is left invariant and right invariant, then there exists a biorderable group G, such, such that G is a subgroup of gamma across the circle S1. Moreover, the bicircular ordering on G is completely determined by the natural bicircular ordering of gamma across S1. Uh, to be precise, uh, you consider the lexicographic ordering on gamma across S1, and that, in, that gives the, the ordering of the the group G. One can get classification of all subgroups of gamma cross S1, and thus uh, this theorem, Sverkovsky theorem, gives infinitely many examples of bicircular orderable groups that are not by. Uh, uh, hold on, I think I have missed my uh, bicircular. That are not orderable. I think I have a mistake here. Sorry for the typo. Uh, we have the following proposition. If H is bicircular orderable group, then conjugation is right uh, orderable. And this is basically because the conjugation using the previous theorem and using the fact that conjugation of the, the products of the group is just uh, conjugation of H conjugation S1. S1 is abelian. And using a theorem or results, the proposition for four in Randall, Singh, and Singh, we get the result. Uh, we have the following lemma. If G is non-trivial group with at least three elements, then the, quant the conjugation quandal cannot be left circular orderable. And the proof is just straightforward. Uh, you basically, uh, if it's left invariant, then you multiply by E, by the neutral element or the identity element in the group from the left. And the uh, identity star S, S is exactly uh, E. And then you get uh, contradiction. Then you get zero. And the function has to be constant, which implies that you cannot have a left circular ordering on the conjugation group. Uh, we proved the following induction, that if you have a quandle with an operation star that is right circular orderable, uh, assume x is not equal to y, we can prove that c of x, y, and y star i of x. What is this? This is just right multiplication by x, i time. Basically, y star x, parenthesis star x, etc., i times. This is the same as 
the I moves to I plus one. It's inductive. Now, uh, if you take what is called an n-quandle, an n-quandle is quandle such that the right multiplication by every element uh, has order n. If you raise it to the power n, it's identity, meaning y star x star x, meaning n times, you go back to, to y. Then the quandle cannot be right circular order. And it uses the, the induction. Uh, the fundamental quandle of the figure eight knot is right orderable. Uh, this is from the previous work of uh, Randall Singh and Singh. Thus, since it's right orderable, then uh, it's uh, right circular orderable. But notice that if you take the involutory quandle, okay, Q2 of, uh, of uh, the, the figure eight knot, uh, it is not right circular orderable. Because here the the, the quandle become in uh, elements uh, are just involution. R x squared equal identity, and uh, I think in Winker he gives the details. That's Q. This is an elementary exercise. One can check that the, the involutory quandle of the knot quandle of the figure eight knot is just the dihedral quandle on Z five. This tells us that homomorphic image of right circular uh, orderable quandle may not be right circular orderable. Uh, Q4, Q of 4, 1 was right circular orderable, but its portion is not. Uh, with Ba, we proved that there are infinitely many leap for which the, the uh, involutory quandle of the not quandle is right circular orderable. Uh, and to do that, we consider the the PQ torus knot, we assume that P is bigger than three and Q is bigger than five. And we use some results of uh, Gordon Lindman that the fundamental group of the double branch cover of L uh, is uh, orderable. And uh, since the fundamental group of the double branch cover is an index to subgroup of the involutory quandle of the knot quandle, you have the, the following exact sequence. And uh, this is general result. If the group, if the quotient group is, is cyclic, that's circular orderable. If the one on the left is orderable, you get the, the middle one, which is orderable. Now Z2 is circular orderable. Uh, uh, the fundamental quandle or uh, envelope in two of QL is right circular orderable. Then by lexicographic order, we get the middle one that is orderable. Uh, we have the following proposition. Uh, let's L be a PQ two bridge knot with P congruent to three mod four for n sufficient, sufficiently large prime number, the group enveloping uh, the, the n quandle of the fundamental quandle is right circular orderable. And to do this, we had to use the results from uh, this paper by who, uh, in which uh, she gives that there are infinitely many PQ to bridge knot for which the, the fundamental group of the uh, N uh, cyclic branch cover is right orderable. Uh, since N is prime, again, the same uh, idea as the previous one. We have the following exact sequence. Just previously, we had two. Here we have N. And again, the, this group is, uh, is uh, uh, circular orderable. This is uh, orderable. And then we get the result. Uh, in fact, indirectly, I used this before that this is a theorem of Matvev and Joyce that's for uh, an oriented link, the enveloping group is isomorphic to the link group of the knot. Uh, I'm almost uh, uh, close to the end. Uh, we use this result of Ryder, which is purely algebraic. It says that if you have a, a L, uh, an oriented link in S3, the quantum homomorphism if it's injective, if and only if L is prime. Uh, thus, we get the conjugation quandle of any bicircular orderable group is the right orderable. And uh, to finish, uh, this is the question of uh, Adam Clay and uh, other co-authors. Uh, the paper is titled Testing Bi-Orderability of Knot Groups. And the question was, uh, give a characterization of link in S3 that have non-bicircular orderable respectively non-biorderable group. We give a partial answer to it. 
this is the recent work. If L is an oriented prime link in, in the three spheres such that the link one is not right orderable, then the fundamental group, group of the link is not bicircular orderable. In particular, it's not bi orderable. Uh, corollary, uh, the knot group of non-trivial torus knot is not bicircularly orderable. And uh, thank you very much. Here are a couple of references. And thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Let's send the speaker other question. Thank you very much for your interesting talk. Thank you, Andre. If, if you can see me. So my question is the following. You mentioned about the results of Rolson, how to check uh, biodurability using uh, Alexander polynomial. If or not. Yes? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear you. Yeah, okay. So you mentioned about the uh, durability of uh, not, not, not groups and uh, recoverings. In particular, Correct. the results due to, uh, due to Rolson, you can check roots of Alexander polynomial. The yes, the, the theorem says so, if you have a fibered knot, only for fibered knot. Yes, yes. If so it's fibered knot that, and the Alexander yes. polynomial has real roots that yes. are positive, yes. then yes. the fundamental group is by order. Yes, you're right. Yes. So the question is the following. Do you thought in the in similar direction for Alexander Quandl? Okay, nice question. Uh, <laughs> Okay. okay. To be honest, I, I didn't think about it, but this is a nice question. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, I don't think I can get it off the top of But uh, I didn't think about it. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't have an answer right away. Thank you. But it's a nice question. Thank you very much for good question. Any other questions? Uh, oh, uh, or can I ask? Uh -huh. Hey, Valerie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi, Mohamed. Thank you. I for wish me. I was there. Oh, yes, I'm I here. wish I was with you guys. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I did not change my name. Uh, Mohamed, thank you for interesting talk. I have two questions. The first one is uh, which two enveloping group for nodes are finite? Do you know the full description? Uh, say it, I'm sorry, say it one more time. Uh, you consider the node, for example. Uh, you can define its uh, fundamental quantum, and now you calculate enveloping two, two enveloping group. Yes. Do you know when this group is finite? Yeah, this is well known. It's a result of, uh, of uh, Jim Hosty uh, answering the conjecture of Prichitsky. This is, yes, yes. Prichiski have conjectured that, and uh, Jim Hosty proved that. Uh, I don't remember the title of the paper, but this is well known. Yes, yes. If you look, okay. I can send you the reference. It's the work of Jim Hosty and published in uh, Geometric and Algebraic Topology. Ah, and he okay. was answering a question okay. of uh, Josef Prichiski. Prichiski, yes. And yes. the second question, uh, sorry, to cap couple of minutes and uh, you uh, explain that if we consider uh, circular groups when we have full descriptions for finite group it's uh, uh, cyclic is it correct, correct? yes uh, that's the theorem. That's the, the similar, theorem yes similar result for quantals do you know the full description of finite uh, circular uh, quantals no, we computed some examples, but we don't we don't have a characterization. No. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. Okay. The, the okay. circular orderability is a little bit more complicated. Like it doesn't behave well with exact sequence, etc. I mean, there are some some. Uh, it's the same thing with the, with the, with the, with by orderability. If you have an exact sequence, exact sequence behave well with left orderability, but I think not not with by orderability. If if you take just if you take two cyclic groups and you do their Cartesian products, even though both of them are 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 circular orderable, the the the, the group is not circular orderable. Ah, I see. I see. There is uh, yes. Uh, 
Thank you very much. I am sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank you very much. Thank you for good answer.